Hi, today I want to show you how my content factory works because every week I produce three videos for you. And without this factory, it will take three, maybe five X time more than I do it right now. So this automation saves me dozens hours per month. Let's get started. For every new video, I need to generate multiple pieces of content such as any 10 workflow template, Reddit post, a guide in Notion, school post and school classroom course page. And also I need to generate description and chapters for YouTube video. How it works. Every time I'm creating a new video here, I'm generating a name with help of vidIQ service that helps to generate catchy, interesting names for your videos. Then I have a list of prompts. So here you can see that I have a different types of content. It's YouTube chapters, description, post for school, insights, then a guide to Notion based on these insights, guide to an then templates page, also post to Reddit and like school article in classroom. Every type of content requires own formatting. Sometimes you need to use markdown, sometimes you need to generate a JSON schema to send school posts automatically, for example. So I have a prompt here. Let me show you how it works for school, for example. I have a type, I have a prompt, and you can check it how it works. You see that I provide example of structure, I provide example of output, I provide a few important rules that should be followed, and I found it this valuable to use this important word because otherwise GPT can't recognize which of data is more important than other and it's better to have it at the end or at the beginning of your prompt. Also I can specify JSON schema here, it's optional, sometimes I need to generate only text, sometimes I need to generate structured JSON data and also I made it work like that so I can provide here some additional data and I use placeholders to paste the data from other pieces of content. So actually I have inputs and outputs types of content. For example, one of the main input is transcription from the video and I also upload it here. Yeah, actually, let me show you how it works with my interface. I made simple interface to process all this data and to easily add new pieces of content. So every time I want to generate new video, I add here my name, creating video. Then I have new records and database like factory video table. Then I need to add a few inputs and actually it's a transcription from video that I automatically generate with the Premiere Pro. And then I have an input template. It's actually just an A10 template JSON that's copied from an A10. Then I use Superbase storage to save my images and I provide here thumbnail link and also blue thumbnail link. Also, I upload YouTube video and while it's uploading, I already can use YouTube link to save it here and use some simple name because, for example, in simple Reddit post, it's better to use uh, some simple name for your a new guide than catch a one that you use for YouTube. After all inputs added, for example, you can see it here, like transcription, long transcription, YouTube link, simple name. And also, yeah, for this video, I didn't generate it. An A10 template, but here you can see like thumbnail and yeah, like template, JSON. And then I just click generate button here and we go through each prompt and generate it one by one. So let's go back here to factory content, actually to factory prompts. And you can see yeah, I have an order. So I have it because sometimes I use previous steps result uh, that was generated, for example, guide for Notion in the next step, for example, in guide in NA10. So these placeholders just uh, replaced in code in the NA10 workflow. Here I will show it in a minute with data from appropriate type, for example, here we will paste our transcription from the video, this one, and we will send to ChatGPT and ask to generate simple short list of chapters. And the user message we will provide transcription itself. So I have here a list of needed types, and this helps me to get needed types before generating this piece of content. 
Also, before I used thread, separate thread for each prompt, but I understood that it works worse than creating new thread for every new prompt and every new video. So yeah, it's just a deprecated thing. When I click here, generate content, I run this scenario, we get video, we get list of prompts, and then we look over these prompts. And here in the code, I'm just retrieving all content generated for this video. I can show it because I have a secret key here for Superbase. Yeah, but we just retrieve all generated content for one video. So for first prompt, there will be only input types of content, but for each next step, we will also can gather generated content for output and use it in to generate next output data. For example, you can see it here. So we use output guide insights. It, it works like I asking GPT to get insights from the video because GPT can understand a temp template, but it can't understand all details and I'm asking to enrich with some insights that was mentioned by me in video. And this content actually not using for publishing anywhere. So it's sub step for generating next part of content. And here you can see that I use output guide and output guide insights. Yeah, so something like that. Yeah, I'm just sending to chat GPT and save it as a content. So after I'm clicking, I see that a new piece of contents pop ups here and only I need to do is just copy, for example, copy these chapters and paste to YouTube. Actually, I can automate YouTube video publishing too, but I want to do it myself. I integrated this solution to school API that is not really public. Yeah, but I did it and I can send it with one button and I will see that a new post is posted here. And also I do the same for these articles in the classroom. So I don't need to every time open this classroom and create a new page and add this video. I just do it automatically. So speaking, for example, about a guiding notion, you see that it use sometimes some markdown. Some formatting will be recognizable uh, by notion as a special pieces of blocks. For example, code block. Yeah, so you just need to teach in prompt main markdown rules and it will generate great results. The same works for guide in NA10 that use different type of markdown that you can see here. For example, you can provide different links and uh, different pieces of code. And also I have it here, for example, it will be a link, like text with link, and it will be image with link. Yeah, something like that. This is how I automate my content. Maybe you have some additional sources like LinkedIn, Twitter and other different services that could be also automated and you can even post automatically in these sources. So if you're interested to see more guides, please like this video, subscribe and please leave the comment what you want to see to be automated and we will do it for you. Thank you for joining me today. Have a good one. Bye.